Hi there, welcome back to this video series of building uh, the Carrera, the Porsche Carrera GT, uh, the Tamiya version uh, that was started by Tom of the, uh, the Skill Modeler uh, channel, and uh, I I won uh, one of his uh, like raffles and uh, and he sent me the the, the half finished product. Um, there were two previous videos of the build and I was planning to do more videos of the build process. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Uh, it's been uh, quiet for a long while and I just didn't manage to get those videos out. So I'm sorry for that. Maybe some people have been waiting for that. Uh, so again, I apologize. I just couldn't, couldn't get it done uh, due to some problems. Uh, just very busy with other other things and also had some problems with the camera uh, it just takes a lot of time to do these things uh, right anyway to not leave it open um, i thought it would be great to at least show you the finished product and uh, talk a little bit about some of the uh, uh, the challenges that i've uh, i've encountered i think it looks great the end product really uh, is, oh, is very nice uh, the roof falls off um, and uh, again, a lot of the tedious work had been done already by Tom, uh, but I tried to, uh, as much as I can, uh, finish it in a good way. So what were the actual problems that I encountered? Well, first of all, and I think it's already said in one of the previous videos, I did not finish Tom's work on the uh, the, the decals uh, for the, the carbon fiber. Um, the decals, decals on the bottom were already there and I tried to, uh, to complete the decals on the engine bay area and it was just, I couldn't do it. It was so, all the nooks and crannies and, and it wasn't folding correctly and I tried to use all the, uh, the micro set, micro sole uh, solutions to to get it correct but it, I just couldn't do it so I I quit doing that and uh, and, and went on building it without uh, the the carbon fiber decals on, on every every um, uh, chassis item so anyway that's that's the way it is uh, so I went on putting all the details there engines there may uh, some of the uh, Airbus work still needed to be done so I tried to do that as much as good as I as I could and uh, I think the, the the end product looks looks really nice. Uh, also, the the cockpit wasn't uh, wasn't ready yet, so I've done a lot of work uh, in that too. I don't know if you can see that correctly, but uh, uh, I think it looks pretty uh, pretty neat. Uh, wheels look nice. I think I'm not sure. I don't think the uh, the wheels were, were painted yet, so I think I've done those myself too. The brake calipers, some PE parts, very nice. So one of the problems that I encountered is uh, doing these like mesh, it's PE material. Uh, so like meshing material uh, and the meshes that uh, needed to be folded underneath these like glass, uh, what do you call it, windows of the, of the engine cover. It looks very nice, but to get it uh, conform to the material, uh, to, the, to all the shapes, was pretty difficult because I ended up having all kinds of creases and folds in areas where I didn't want them. Also, I had to spray paint it and, uh, and, and just trying to, to manhandle it to go in the correct position. Uh, I lost some of the paint, which is on the inside, it's not too bad, and the outside looks pretty, pretty good. So that was a lot of work. Uh, I think it ended up okay. Uh, certainly, when it's you know when it's standing there on display, you don't you don't see any problems. But uh, was a was a really tedious job to uh, to finish. Anyway, so that's the the engine cover. For the rest, well, it's pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, the little roof, I didn't I didn't glue it on, uh, but. Uh, so that I can take it off and, and, and look in. One last problem that I need to uh, address is uh, a problem with the, the front, the, wind, oh, the windshield. Um, 
there are some scratches or I don't know exactly what happened here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it, it looks not very good. Also on the top there's a problem here. And uh, I don't know if it's glue or something else or scratches. Uh, I tried to, uh, to fix it. I couldn't. Uh, so maybe there is a, a way of uh, of getting that uh, getting that fixed, uh, which will be difficult now that it's that it's already in there. But uh, so that's the only I think that's the biggest like obvious mistake uh, in the whole car. Uh, and I just I couldn't fix that. I don't know how to fix it, uh, so I had to had to leave it like that, which is a shame. But well, that's the way it goes. Um, uh, there's always, <laughs> at least in my builds, there's always something that doesn't go right. But uh, anyway, I hope that at least um, you appreciate seeing the finished product. Um, thanks again to uh, to Tom for uh, for giving me the opportunity to finish this. Uh, and I hope you uh, you like the way it uh, it turned out. It's uh, it's now part of my of my collection, and uh, I'll go on building. The next project, uh, some videos are already up on the uh, Tamiya Honda F1, uh, the 112 scale uh, Formula One, like a historic Formula One uh, car. Uh, I will try and do better with that in going through all the steps and all the all the building uh, the building process better than I did with uh, with this Porsche. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, I'll try to do my best. Thank you for uh, for watching and um, hopefully you will uh, follow the build of the Honda F1 and I'll see you in another video.